What's up, Bargain Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a clearance item Hobby Lobby haul for you guys. So it's nothing but items that are on clearance at Hobby Lobby right now. Right now they have 90% off of a bunch of different items, but mainly their spring shop items, which is lots of farmhouse decor and summery type of looking items. I did a shop with me slash haul with lots of these items already, and I'll link it down below for you guys. But I went back to um, Hobby Lobby because now they have the items 90% off with the spring shop because before it was 80% off and now it's 90% off so they're really trying to get rid of their inventory to make room for the holiday items. This drawer is really bugging me. I've been putting my socks inside of it and it's just starting to explode at the seams. Come on, look a little more fancy. Come on. Anyways, like I said, I didn't pay more than $3 for any of these items. I actually have the receipt right here on the ground. So I'll be able to tell you exactly what I paid for each item. So let's start with the first item, which is something I saw the first time around, and I'm happy I waited for it to go on sale. So what it says, this is called, is this farmhouse wood wall decor. So what you could put in it is maybe some mason jars with flowers inside of it. Maybe you can put uh, flowers directly into this. You could hang this inside of your, like, kitchen and put like spices in it if you wanted to you can even put like pens and scissors and then use little clothes pins to add like notes to this or even pictures there's a lot of things you could do with it anyways the original price on this was $29.99 and what I ended up paying was three dollars that is a great deal especially when this is real wood it's not like particle board it's real wood don't stop believing Hold on to that feeling. I'm one of those people that just like randomly breaks into songs. Come down below if you're like that too, but I'm just like, I'm always like that. Or if somebody's singing and I know the song, I always join in it and usually they're like, Bethany, come on. This next item I got, I got it in hopes that I could use it for my wedding. We're having a buffet style um, dinner to the wedding. So I'm hoping maybe I could put like utensils, just something inside of it. If not, I can definitely decorate with it because it's not too big. So it's just this, I don't even know what you'd call it, like a little container thing. Um, and like I said, I could use it to decorate as well. I could put flowers inside of this if I wanted to and stationery. There's a bunch of things. Obviously, it's just storage. I like the rusty galvanized look to it. So this was $29.99 and I paid $3 for this as well. And again, this is real wood and this is galvanized metal. It's not like the really, really thin stuff that Dollar Tree carries. You know, I just had an idea what you could do with this. I don't know if we're going to do a sweets bar because I'm not like a sweets person myself. Maybe I'll have some type of sweet there. Um, but like if you're doing a sweets bar and you know how people will have like the chocolate dipped pretzels like rods pretzel rods um you can actually use this to put the pretzel rods in i feel like and i think maybe you could just have like the mason jar which is normally what they're in or like a little glass just put inside of there so it stands up nice and straight but I think that would be a cute way to display that so this next item I was seriously eyeing the first time I had seen it but there were so many of them that I felt like they weren't gonna sell out and that the price might drop on them and it did so it's this farmhouse sign that has chicken wire on the front and my dog sounds like it is attacking something Oh, she's attacking her toy. I don't remember what I was saying before I heard my dog attack a toy. But yeah, it's this farmhouse picture, wood again, and it has this chicken wire on the front with these little eggs that are like behind the chicken wire and like fake hay. I love this sign so much. So it was originally $19.99 and I paid $2 for this. 100% this was worth the $2. It's such a cute sign. Obviously this is definitely like straight up farmhouse decor. like. This is something where it's like, Bob Evans out on the farm. That's what I always think. I told you guys, Bob Evans down on the farm. Bob Evans got some bomb breakfast, y'all. I just realized that my light was sticking out in that corner. Anyways, I just fixed it. So the next item I got was just a small little sign that says Farm Fresh. This originally is priced at $7.99. I would never pay $7.99 for this, though. It's not worth $7.99. And what I ended up paying is, I forgot... Where did I just put this receipt? Y'all, I'm a mess sometimes. Anyways, what I ended up paying was 80 cents for it. 80 cents, I would pay for this, obviously, because I did. Um, but I would not pay $7.99 just because it's a little too small to be that much money. Now, this, though, I think it's wood. But at the same time, it's a little hard to tell. But this part right here is definitely like a particle board. These next items are super pretty. They're these glasses that have a lavender marble appearance to them with a gold bottom. Now, these I ended up paying $1.60 for. But you know what I kind of don't understand? They're $7.99 and the other item was $7.99. And now Penny, Penny, nobody, no, nobody wants to know that. 
It, good for you, but nobody wants to know that. Yeah, but what's like a little weird is the Farm Fresh sign was $7.99, but I paid a dollar or 80 cents for it. And then this is also $7.99, but I paid a dollar 60 cents for it. And they're both a part of the spring shop and both were 90% off. So I'm not quite sure like how that worked out. These are very, very pretty. I got another piece of glassware. Now this is not a part of like the spring summer shop. This is just on clearance. It's this silver, almost mercury looking um, glass bottle that reminds me of like a perfume bottle. And I paid a dollar and 19 cents for this. Super pretty. I love the top on this as well. Then I got another one that looks pretty close to it. And again, it's a dollar and 19 cents. I ended up chipping this part though accidentally when I dropped it. I did pick these up though, mainly for decor pieces when I do videos and I do like perfume type of videos where I need it to be like on a vanity tray or perfume organization. I just think this will look really pretty in the videos. And also a pretty decorative filler where I put all my perfume. I only got two more items to show you guys from Hobby Lobby. One is this basket. So I actually bought this basket for my wedding for the flower girl. I told you guys I have a moss theme and I keep seeing these moss Back it, back it, what? Baskets. Currently I have so many moss rolls that I bought at Michael's that I'm gonna use to um, make centerpieces. So anyways, when I found this basket, originally I was thinking, oh, I'm just gonna buy the basket, but then I found this basket, and since I have so many of these, I decided that I could just wrap it around the basket because the basket was super cheap. So it was originally $9.99 and I paid a dollar for it. So like I said, my plan is to take this type of moss and just wrap it around here. You know, the more I look at this receipt, I, I'm getting confused because if this was $9.99, how is this a dollar and this was a dollar and nine? Give me a second because I think I'm messing this up. I am. Okay, so I paid a dollar and sixty cents for both of them. It was originally eighty cents. Okay, I can see it at the bottom. I messed up. So I paid eighty cents for this because that didn't make sense. How was I gonna pay a dollar for this and more for that when they're both ninety percent off? You know, let me show you guys right now. So my plan is to take the moss. I got the moss for super cheap because I got it when it was like seventy percent off, and I'm going to just wrap it around. I don't know if I'm going to wrap it around both the um, bottom and the top of this or if I'm just going to have one like this, but that's my plan. Now the last items that I got were these two little galvanized buckets. These are really cute to be like your seating um, pieces for people and they can also act as a favor if you're having like a barn type of wedding. I'm not going to use that for them. I'm just going to use them for decor, but I feel like this would be cute. Oh yeah, and I paid 20 cents for them. They were originally $1.99. So that's it for the Hobby Lobby items that I bought. I have one more thing that I really want to share with you guys just in case you're getting married next year or like a little later in the year just because it's a good item to decorate with or something you can use for favors and it was at a really good price. The only thing is you need to live near Menards and Menards is in the mid Midwest. What am I trying to say? I don't know. I just ran down the stairs. But it's a really good deal at Menards right now. It's basically their mason jars, the Anchor Hawking mason jars. And they are $5 right now. Penny, sometimes you got to keep that information to yourself. So these mason jars are just like the ones Dollar Tree carries. There's like no like design on the front of them, just solid. And then they got the gold tops. I paid $5 for them and there's 12 in here. And at Dollar Tree, they're a dollar a piece. So this would have cost me $12. So if you have a wedding anytime soon or you're into mason jars, you're going to have like a barbecue and you want people to put their lemonade in this. I don't know. Point is, you can get this right now for only $5 at Menard. So if you live near one and you need them, I highly suggest checking them out. I wanted to share that with you guys because I just thought it was a really good deal. I really suggest checking out these stores right now if you're getting married next year around like spring or summertime because all of these items are on sale and like 50, 60, 70, 80, 90% off. So there's a lot of items you can get right now for super cheap for your wedding rather than waiting around that time when you're going to end up paying full price for them. So anyways, that is it for this Hobby Lobby haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time which is tomorrow with a Dollar Tree haul. See you then. Take care. Bye.